Hello everyone, and after seven months, and yeah, it's been about seven months, after seven months of putting up my old Turtle Programs video and getting numerous requests to make a fuel-enabled version for this program, I finally decided to sit down and do it. So I'm going to say this before I go any further, this is beta code. I have not you're going to deem this as the official release of this program. It works as it needs to. I'm not sure I'm too happy with it to consider it fully released. So, wanted to say that. This is beta code, and that, yeah, just wanted to get that out of the way. So, let's go ahead and let's get the program on here. Uh, this program will be available down in the description, so you can download it and put it into your world. Um, if you don't know how to install these programs, you can click an annotation on the top left corner of the screen, and then I'll take you to my tutorial on how to install it with just dragging and dropping the files into the world. Um, you can also manually type the code in, or you can use HTTP proxies or something like that. I don't know how to use it, but um, you can feel free to Google that yourself. So, um, As you can see, I have nothing on here. So I'm going to go ahead and make my directory for programs. I'm going to change to the disk, and I think there's a programs thing on here. So there's that. And you can see I have two programs. The original one is called MindFuel. I just realized I didn't have a chest. Uh, one second, let me get some chests. Oh, that's a lot of chests. Um, cool, I just wanted a stack. There you go. Um, oh, hi, Mr. Bat. What are you doing in here? What are you doing in here? Alright, anyway, I'm getting distracted. So, the program's available down in the description. You can download the program, and you can go ahead and, you know, put it in your world. Um, so, I need to get my program. So, as you can see, I have two programs. I have one called Mine, and one called Mine Fuel. Um, the Mine Fuel is the one that, it's a horrible name, don't get me wrong, but, uh, uh, I just kind of use that as a name temporarily, so you could always fix it and you know implement it in your world and change the name, whatever you wanted to do. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that over to um, my folder. So if I just change directory to my programs, um, you can see it's in there. And to make this program work, you're gonna need two things. Um, this is why I said it's beta code. I'm going to implement one more feature before I actually fully do the full release of this. Um, you're going to need two things for this to work. You're going to need your fuel in the first slot, and you're going to need your chests in the second slot. So the, the fuel in the first slot, when it's going through, um, let me go ahead and show you. Um, so when it's going through the thing, and oh, by the way, I want to... Um, before I go any further, I don't want to take credit for this, but uh, these two functions were taken from Seth Bling's code. I figured why rewrite something that already works, so I'm implementing code that already does work in my program. So thank you, Seth Bling, for writing this code for me. Um, but as you can see, it kind of goes through, um, and when it's looking for it needs more fuel, it's going to select the first slot, and then refuel using the second slot, and then go back to where it was before. And... As you can see also at the top, I kind of set some variables here. Um, the slot 2 was just something that Seth Bling's code had, so that's kind of why I did it. Um, I just like to have different blocks. Uh, but I have so coal, basically, so that's going to be my first slot. Chest is the second slot, and then anything with blocks is going to be 3 and pass. So later down the line, it's going to select the chests eventually. So um, it'll select the chests, so it's going to... Um, go, go through here, so it'll be turtle.select chest, and this just makes it easier, so that way if I know what position I'm putting it in, it's going to select the chest and put it in that way. So I guess the main thing of this video is you want to see how it works. So let me exit here, and it works exactly the same as it mine did before, and so you're going to need to type in mine fuel, that's the name of the program, and when you're going to run the code, you want to tell it how far down you want to dig the tunnels. So how many far blocks do you want to go down that way. These were, I think, 10 or 15 wide. I can't exactly remember. But how far down do you want to go? Just for the sake of example, I'm just going to do 10. And I'm going to want the tunnels. So it is looking this way. It's looking down the tunnels in this direction. Uh, this direction right here. So what you're going to want to do is whether you want the tunnels to go this way. So this is going to the right of where the turtle's looking. Or if you want them, so if, say the turtle was uh, here, do you want them to go to the left of the turtle and dig that way? In this case, I want to go to the left. So I type in left and then there. 
It's going to refuel, so it used up its fuel to gain all its stuff back. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this out of the way so I can watch it at work. And it's going to go ahead and start digging out the tunnel. Now, the reason why I said this is beta code for and, like, why I kind of said that like, I want to work on this later is because I want to add a functionality to place torches every certain amount of blocks. So once I figure out how to do that, I'll make another video releasing the full code and then I'll be pretty happy with that. So now it's done. It's going to turn around. It's going to start digging the blocks up. So now I access the chest, I can just dig out this one block. And that's everything that it dug out for me. And it's going to keep going. It's going to keep going until it runs out of chests. So let me go ahead and take away all its chests except for one. So let's go ahead and let this thing finish here. Let's put another chest. This I'm not working on this world. This is kind of just one I spawned just for an example to showcase the code and showcase the programming. So that way I, you guys can see that it does work and it does work well. So once this is done, you'll see right here it's going to turn and stop. So let me show you. Uh, two things about this code. So that way you can see how it runs. If you want to go ahead and download it, again, it's available in the description. You can go ahead and get going on it. Um, it checks, it only does one type of movement. It only does dig forward. And this just makes it simple for the later runs. So that way it's always, it can't move forward unless there's a block out of the way. So that's why I've decided to just add a check fuel thing right before it moves forward. So this is all instances of it moving forward. Everything about in the dig forward function. That's the only time is where it's going to move forward. So it's just in the check fuel thing, it's just going to do it anytime it moves forward. So it saves me tons of hassle later in the long run. Now turn around. This is for the point at which it reaches the end of the tunnel. So it's going to reach, oh, sorry about that. So it's going to reach this point right here. It's going to dig out this block, and it's going to reach the end of the tunnel. So it's going to decide, oh, wait a minute, I've reached the end of the tunnel. I need to turn around. So de depending on whether you said to turn left or right, in my case left, it's going to turn left, dig out, dig out, or dig out, move forward, then dig out the one above it, and then continue down its way back to where it started. Now, if it was to the right, it would just simply, you know, it would be looking this way. It would turn to the right, and it would dig out this way. It would first dig out this one, and then it would go into there, then dig out this one, and then continue its merrily way down this way, like that. So that's what turn around does. Um, the next thing, it would be uh, the whole program itself. So uh, I'm actually going to change something right here. So this, this, this change will be available in the code that I'm putting in, in the description. So it's going to get the item count. It's going to check my chest count. So... Since I don't have any chests in this slot, it stopped going and it's going to, you know, stop the program and just wait for you to put more chests in it to start it up again. Sorry about that. Um, so then what it, do, what it just does is it digs all the way down to the tunnel. It turns around depending on what direction you told it to turn. And then it comes back. And then after it does that, it digs a hole in the wall. So if you want to, like, follow my cursor here, it digs uh, a hole in the wall. It selects the chest slot, places the chest. And then after that, it goes through the entire chest, the entire turtle's inventory, so all these slots right here, and puts them all in the chest. And then again, it, depending on which way you told it to go, um, I'm actually gonna line that up. It's it's really good. Oh, whoopsies! It's really good if you're gonna start getting into coding to really line up your code, so that way it just looks neat and you can actually follow it easier. So it's just. Whoopsies, this should be like that. Um, yeah, there you go. That's that's where it should be. So it's going to turn around left or right, again, depending on which way you stated. Um, it's going to dig towards the next spot. So since it got to here, it's looking this direction. So it turned. It wanted. I wanted to make the tunnels to the left of where it was facing. So it's going to turn to the right. A little confusing. Um, it's going to dig out three blocks. And then it'll start the next tunnel. And it digs out three blocks. Because if you look at my tunnel structure, you can see that these are the perfect width. So I'm digging out the appropriate amount of blocks. And also, I can, if I were to just, you know, one second as I light this tunnel up, I can just run down this tunnel and I can see any ores on the wall. So like this, I can see this copper ore. But if I were to do it, you know, one wide, I could see both sides of the block. But I don't need to see this side of this row because I already know what this block is. So I can just run down the tunnels, you know, see whatever ores I have. I have some coal here I can go get later. 
uh, in here I got some more coal and some copper I can get later so you can see it's very helpful you know in any uh, any Minecraft map whether you're just added this computer craft mod just for your personal world or whether you're just you know adding it into the feet of the beast mod pack so this is why I kind of did the tunnel structure that I did so that basically is the code. It's gonna, you know, turn that, and then it's gonna when it gets through this, it turns back to the appropriate direction to start the next tunnel, and then it just goes through, checks the chest, and repeats everything it goes on through. So again, this is the beta version of the code I have. Um, I'm gonna uh, label it as beta when you download it. So if you want to implement it in your world, you can just um, implement it as so. Just again, disclaimer, sorry, it is beta. Once I add the torch feature or any kind of other features that I think are necessary or any kind of features that you guys think would be necessary or helpful, at least in this case, please let me know and I'll go ahead and add them if I can. So again, this is it for now. Um, sorry it took so long to get this. I really had no motivation to get this code done and written out there, but I'm glad I did. Um, as I also said in an updated annotation to that Turtle Programs video, um, if you guys have any suggestions for programs for me to write, go ahead and leave them down below. I'm more than willing to actually, you know, sit down and start writing them now. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time when the full version is done.